the original lineup was considerable. It was well over 30, I think there were 32 breeds involved. Uh, about half of those we're going to be seeing today, about 16 in total. And, uh, and this is for breeds which are from the UK and, and Ireland, they're native, native breeds, so uh, part of our cultural heritage. Absolutely, Frank. You couldn't have said it better. And our judge here, the judges uh, coming into the ring. And now please this is Paul Erdley, the judge. He's a famous terrier man, a, a breeder of Australian terriers. As the first of our competitors come in, this is the English setter. Hard to believe that the English setter is under 300 registrations a year. And the Gordon set have been uh, threatened for quite a while. The Irish red and white setter. Beautiful Irish red and white setter. <laughs> and number it's four, here's the curly coated retriever. A beautiful dog, one of our top dogs in the breed this year. And followed by a Columbus Spaniel. You see, they're all gun dogs today. Only the gun dog group judged at Crufts today. So we have an Irish Water Spaniel. And showing typical temperament, uh, full of running and clownish. I was expecting to see a Field Spaniel come in and there, but it didn't. And it this is the Sussex Spaniel. Many of these Spaniels very much in the uh, vulnerable the area. Collie. The Smooth Collie. Tricolour. The Rough Collie is hugely popular. This one struggles, and it's uh, gone down in its registrations this year again. And here's the wonderful Dandy Dinmont. The native breed of Scotland. Exquisite the top line and expression. Terrier. Exquisite top knot as well. Isn't <laughs> it? Yes, Just yes. The Manchester Terrier now. And now, the sky now you'll tell me, Frank, what's the difference between a Manchester Terrier and an English Toy Terrier? Well, They're one's a miniaturisation of the other, okay, yes, really. Fine, yes. And here's the wonderful Sky Terrier, long, low, and level, and those prick ears holding a lovely top line. And here's a very rustic breed, the Otter Hound. Yes, I haven't hunted otters for and many, many toy years. Toy which is the reason. The breed, yes. And here is the... English toy chair. It is smaller, you're quite right. <laughs> the extended trotting action. It should be finer boned than the prick ears. And here is the King Charles Spaniel. It's a tricolour. One of the Royal Spaniels, much less popular than the Cavalier more domed in the skull and that's the full sum that we're going to see a couple couple missing that i expected to see thought we'd have a sussex spaniel uh, i beg your pardon a field spaniel and there should have been a norwich terrier in there but they, they haven't shown so this is the full collection now mr beardley will go over to take a look at the first one in the lineup this is an english setter it's called tassaset galileo it's a dog his name is leo Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying a great deal of attention. The to judge. Him. I was reading the notes. He's, he's examining the lineup, of course, first. The judge now walking down, taking in the outline and proportions of the dog. They're the first indicators of good breed type, which is what the judge is looking for. So that initial walk down the line gives him an idea of what he's got to judge. And he will have spotted one or two from there. They think, mm, there's a chance here, but he's not had his hands on We're going on for the yet. shortlist now. The judges. Oh, he's already pre -judged. The judges assess these. And Irish red and white setter and the curly coated retriever and the Irish water spaniel. The Manchester Terrier comes forward. The Sky Terrier is coming and the Otter Hound. And the Otter Hound. So that includes our and, uh, and there is our shortlist for the Vulnerable Breeds competition today. Well, it all took me a little bit by surprise, that. I thought so we were going to actually see him judging, that he's obviously had a pre judge of this group. It's been gun dog day here today, but the terriers have come. All of those who've qualified for this final have turned up. So the first of the shortest, this Irish red and white setter. 
Of course, the red setter to which it's related is much more popular. These are a little bit different. Athletic, a little bit stronger in the build, not quite as tall and racy. Beautiful level top line, lovely red markings on a clear white coat. This is a top winner in the breed. And this is the curly coat retriever. It's a dog called Tarzan. Tarzan by name, Tarzan by nature, apparently. And Very we can see the lovely, crisp dog. curls in his coat, big ribs, lovely proportions. And here's another one the Irish Water Spaniel striding out. They're very clownish in temperament and we can see he's full of running. Again, it's a breed which is defined by this wonderful coat and Another big ribs for buoyancy in the water. Yeah. Another dog, it's called Luther, this one. And now we've got the Manchester, Manchester Terrier, Terrier striding out. This was a breed which was bred as a, a ratter in the uh, in the mills in the Manchester area, wedge-shaped head, black and ten markings with thumbprints in the tan on the front legs. And here is the excellent Sky Terrier, long, low and level. This is the breed. We had Greyfriars Bobby, which uh, famous. made the breed famous. I saw the statue up in Edinburgh this year when I was there. Now, here's a breed that was threatened when Otter the uh, otter hunting was made illegal, so they were, the packs were in real threat of survival. We've got a few exhibitors who've kept them going. It's nice to see one here in this competition and making the final cut. Yes, it's another male, this one, called Maximus. If I say... And the boards are being brought out now, so he's just about to make his decision. And it's the Sky Terrier. The Sky Terrier takes it. This is Barney, the Sky Terrier champion, Breakmill Barnum show champion. Uh, what a wonderful dog, top winner in the breed. And there's the wonderful uh, curly coated uh, retriever into curly. second place. Many congratulations to the Irish Red and Whites, the Irish Water Spaniel, the Manchester Terrier, and the Otter Hounds. Yes, the curly coat taking uh, the reserve and, uh, there. He's called Tarzan, as I said earlier. So the Sky Terrier wins the Vulnerable Native Breeds competition, a very worthy winner. Top winner in the breed, as is the Curly Coated Retriever. It's a lovely pair that uh, Paul Early has chosen. Am I mistaken, uh, Frank, in, in thinking that you used to breed Sky Terriers at one time? No, a Celium. Celium, Celium Peter. Yes, yes. So this is a even more work than a Celium Terrier. So, okay, so a very nice winner there. So the presentation to take place there, or taken place, a little interview going on in the ring. Took me a little bit by surprise, the fact that they were already prejudged, which was something I wasn't aware of, but uh, you can't actually know everything that's going on in this massive show. Incidentally, there has been a record number of hits on our YouTube channel uh, today, the first day of the show. Record hits ever, more than 200,000. Thank you very much for paying attention to us. I hope that uh, you'll carry on perhaps through the week. We might break all records as we go now for the lap of honour for that little Sky Terrier.